it's got a red flag and it's Carlos Sainz. I should imagine Crofty's lost the rear going through turn two. Yeah. Uh, we've seen a few cars get a little bit light there on the rear. As we can see now. Yeah. And he's doing about 110, 115 miles an hour. That's a hefty impact. And, and I would be worried if I was Carlos Sainz about my gearbox there. Head down. Oh, and he's, I was going to say he's very aggressive on the way in. And he was. Too aggressive on the way in and all the anticipation that was building in that Williams garage. George Russell is out of qualifying. If you're not pushing, you're not trying. And he was definitely trying and he was definitely pushing. He's on the limit. It, it, it's going to happen at some point. Do you know what I mean? He can't have a perfect qualifying <laughs> session every race. Oh, oh that's the another Williams. And that is a bigger impact. And that's Nicholas Latifi very much out of qualifying. And that is another red flag. And I dare say that could be this session not resuming as well. Let's have a little look then. Right on the edge or just over, and he does the same thing here. He just gets a wheel on the dirt on the turn in. There's a car on the inside that never helps because it kind of disrupts your direction of, of, of vision into that, into that corner. Uh, and he's gone a little bit too far to the left-hand side, put a wheel on the dirt, and that's what spun him round. Turn eight, and we get to with Latifi. And as soon as the rear got away from him, he was heading towards the scene of a barrier. That's a lot of damage to that car as well. I mean, that is a big impact. You, you can't imagine how much that hurts. He'll have a headache for a, for a day or two after that. Oh, oh, oh he's oh. lost the front. He's had a hit there. He has. Red flag. Yeah, he had a massive crash. Are you OK? Oh, that hurt a bit. But I'm OK. Copy. Yeah, just the curb, the curb on the power. Oh, you heard him go on the mm. loud pedal when he was in there. So that shows you how hard that is. I mean, that when you stand on the throttle mid-crash, that shows that your body's kind of not in control. You've lost control of it. Yeah. But it's a wall. But you know, this is where with it, with, when you're in part Fermi, you can't afford to do things like that. I think he's actually got away pretty lightly. It's hit head on. The two Alpines are battling each other, and there's damage there to Pierre Gatti's Alfa Tauri as his front wing comes off and he crashes at the Curva Grande. He'd slowed down quite dramatically, and by the time he hit the barriers, but Gasly is out. So he's gone around the Alps. Oh, look, he's clipped the back of the McLaren, broken his wing. That's where the damage was done. And now the wing, you can see the wing sparking down on, underneath the left tyre. As he turns in, he's not going to have the front grip. That will be a safety car. And we've got a virtual safety car as we look back to the Della Roggia chicane. Oh, so he's gone straight across the chicane then, and somebody's presumably to his left at that point. Check if I have a picture. Giovinazzi, I've been a, a kamikaze. So everything is fine, and K2 off. And there's Max Verstappen right behind Hamilton into the first chicane once again. It's wheel to wheel. Hamilton and Verstappen, oh. and this time Verstappen and Hamilton have crashed out, and they are both out. As Hamilton came from his pit stop, rejoined the racetrack. Lando Norris was ahead, and in their desperation to stay ahead and to get ahead, the two championship protagonists have taken each other out of the Italian Grand Prix. Did Verstappen have enough space? in the uh, initial part of that chicane, and then did he try and get a bit cheeky in the second part? Oh, Max hasn't done anything wrong there. Max's car hit the rollover hoop of Lewis's car. Yeah. That's where the damage has come from. And uh, that was uh, well, a look, scary, scary moment Even there. with the halo, Martin, look at the rear right tire of Max Verstappen's Red Bull uh, rubbing against the crash helmet of Lewis Hamilton by the looks of it. And Hamilton certainly trying to get as low in his cockpit as he possibly could. Wow. That was a very, very near miss there for Lewis Hamilton. Just talking of one. damage, 
at car number 99, Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, he's had uh, he's had a coming together with the barriers, uh, has Antonio Giovinazzi. So here he is, exit of seven to bring the car to the right-hand side into a bit of undersea, and he's basically done what Charles Leclerc did. And that's why we said at the time Leclerc was lucky to get away with it. I yeah. mean, of course, a bit of driver skill comes into it, but mostly luck. You don't know where the car's going to go. You're a bit of a passenger as soon as it swaps ends. And yeah, so just on the other side, this that's is the green side. That's yeah. the AstroTurf. We saw it clearly from <laughs> the off-board shot in Leclerc. And, um... Right, here we go. George Russell, time lap on the slick tyres. First driver to go for a time lap as Lewis Hamilton comes oh, into the, the pits and hits the wall. Now, it's only 60 kilometres an hour, but it's such a tight pit lane entrance. And Lewis Hamilton, even before they put the slick tyres on, has bashed the wall and... Just hit the wall, man. Hit the wall. Drama for Lewis Hamilton for the second year running and qualifying here in Russia. And you have to say, Hamilton's got his only himself to blame. He stuck it in the wall in the pits, and that's cost him and Bottas a good starting position because they didn't have two laps. And he had to let everybody else pass when he was on his outlap and couldn't get temperature. It's just Vettel having a spin. Well, that's his teammate, Lance Stroll, just ahead of him. Whoa! Oh. And Stroll, wandering over to the left-hand side, puts his teammate into the wall. Has that broke the steer now I'm on Stroll's car, if we watch? Oh. No, they both got away with it. Perfect. I tell you what. Oh, they touched again. Damage for Lance Stroll as he slides his way off the circuit and into the barriers. Yeah, he managed to get out, but you can see... And that might have been an earlier uh, moment with uh, Pierre Gasly. <laughs> and it's now just four seconds between Norris and Hamilton. Verstappen could finish P2 here. And Hamilton takes the lead of the race as Lando Norris slides off the track and avoids the barriers, manages to keep going, but Hamilton takes the lead. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen, who's on the intermediate tyres, is making too. his way through the field. This is how the lead swapped hands. Absolutely incredible. I feel so sorry for Norris. He had everything.